Hi, in this video we're going to be finding the first derivative at zero and the second derivative at zero of this piecewise function. This is a problem from a book I have. It's called Calculus and it's by Michael Spivak. And this book contains all kinds of fun problems, so I thought I would try to do this one. Okay, so let's work through it. Let's try to find first the first derivative at zero of this piecewise function. So because we have a piecewise function, let's try to use the definition. So recall that the derivative of f at x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x. And that's all being divided by h. So in this case here, we want the derivative at 0. So our x is 0. So f prime of 0 is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of, well, if x is 0, this is just f of h minus and then f of 0. And that's all being divided by h. OK, so this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0. So because we're taking a limit and h is approaching 0, h is actually not equal to 0. Recall from the definition of the limit, you just care about what happens when you're close to the point, not actually at the point. So h is not 0 in all of this. So we use this piece here for f of h. So we have sine h over h minus, and then, and then f of 0 is 1, right? according to the definition here. So 1 is all over h. OK, this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0. I'm going to make a, a bit of a leap here. I want to think of 1 as h over h. So this will be sine h minus h over h. And all of this is over h. So it's all of this divided by h. So it's really all of this times 1 over h. So f prime of 0 is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of sine h minus h over h squared. Because it's really, this is really when you divide by h, you really multiply by 1 over h. So it, I'll show you here. It's really this. I just don't want to clutter the problem. right? And then h times h is going to give you the h squared. If you plug in 0 here for the h, you get sine 0 minus 0, which is 0. And you get 0 on the bottom. So we have what's called an indeterminate form. And this special indeterminate form is 0 over 0. So whenever you have a form that's 0 over 0, you can use something called L'Hopital's rule. So that basically says that you can take the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. So this is the limit as h approaches 0. So now we're going to take the derivative. So the derivative of sine is cosine minus, and then the derivative of h is 1. And here the derivative of h squared is simply 2h. So that works out really nice. If you plug in 0 again, you get cosine of 0 minus 1. So you get 1 minus 1, so you get 0. And again here, again, you get 0 on the bottom. So it's still 0 over 0. So taking the derivative again, we have the limit as h approaches 0. Derivative of cosine is negative sine. And then derivative of 2h is 2. Derivative of 1 is 0. Now we can finally plug in 0. So we get negative sine 0 over 2. Sine of 0 is 0, so you just get 0. Boom! Finally, the first derivative at 0 is equal to 0. I moved that rather quickly, but we're only halfway done. <laughs> so we still have to find um, the second derivative at 0. So OK, so let's go ahead and find the second derivative. So the second derivative of f at, let's just focus on x. If it was at x, it would be the limit Okay, as h approaches 0 of f prime of x plus h minus f prime of x over h. Basically just using, just using this definition, but for the second derivative, right? Because what is the second derivative? It's the derivative of the first derivative, right? It's the derivative of the derivative. So if this is the derivative of f, what's the derivative of f prime? Well, you just replace f with f prime, right? So it should work. So now let's go ahead and simply replace um, x with 0. So this is the limit as h approaches 0. Good, you can still see. you got to make sure you can still see what I'm writing. So a fairly new setup. 
Um, x is 0, so this will be f prime of h minus f prime of 0, and that's all being divided by h. Very nice. So f prime of h, uh, what is that? We don't know. So let's come over here and work it out. This is f of x right here, sine x over x, right? So I'm going to write that. So for x not 0, we have f of x is sine x over x. And we're going to use the quotient rule. Recall if you have a function f divided by a function g, and you take the derivative, you have the top and the bottom. The top and the bottom, it's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom 1 squared. That's the quotient rule, so let's apply it here. It's the derivative of the top, which is cosine, times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, which is 1, going kind of quick, over the bottom 1 squared. So we can go over here now and we can plug this in. So this is the limit as h approaches 0, and it's h, so it'll be h cosine h, just putting the h's here, minus sine h over h squared, minus f prime of 0, which we worked out before, and all of this is over h. So this is equal to the limit, okay, it's the limit as h approaches 0, and again, we're going to have this divided by h, so we're basically going to multiply these in the bottom. It's really times 1 over h. So it's h cosine h minus sine h over h cubed, just like that. If you plug in 0, you get 0, 0, 0, 0 over 0. So let's use L'Hopital's again. This is the limit as h approaches 0. Um, L'Hopital says we take the derivative, so for this derivative here, we're going to have to use the product rule. Recall if you have two functions, f and g, think of f as your first function and g as your second function. It's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So let's apply that here. The derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of cosine, which is negative sine minus, and then here we have the derivative of negative sine is negative cosine, all over 3h squared. Oh, hooray! This is equal to the limit as h approaches 0. So one of the h's cancels, and so we get negative sine h over 3h. I'm going to pull out this negative 1 third. Check this out. This is cool. So this will be sine h over h. Awesome sauce. I just wanted to say awesome sauce. I don't know why I said that. Someone said that the other day to me, and I was like, that, that's really cool. I like that you said that. No one says that anymore. I think it's, it should stay in. It should be a thing. This is 1. It's a special limit, so it's negative 1 third times 1, so you get negative 1 third. So that would be the second derivative at 0. Kind of a fun problem. I like problems like this where, you know, you really have to think a little bit and you do, you do have to know some stuff to do this, obviously. You have to know um, some math. <laughs> you have to know the definition of the derivative. You have to know the product rule. You have to know the quotient rule. You have to know the derivative of sine and cosine. Um, you have to know some algebra. I'm going to zoom out here so you can see this beautiful, this beautiful solution. Really cool, right? So this is from uh, a book called Calculus. It's by Michael Spivak. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Good luck.